as spring reaches its midpoint, night and day stay perfect balance, with light on the increase. The young sun god now celebrates a hierogamy, sacred marriage, with the young maiden goddess, who conceives. In nine months, she will again become the great mother. It is a time of great fertility, new growth, and newborn animals. The next full moon, a time of increased births, is called the Ostara, and is sacred to Easter, the Saxon lunar goddess of fertility, from whence we get the word estrogen, whose two symbols, were the egg and the rabbit. The Christian religion adopted these emblems for Easter which is celebrated on the first Sunday after its full moon following the vernal equinox. The theme of the conception of the goddess was adapted as the Feast of the Annunciation, occurring on the alternative fixed calendar date of March 25th Old Lady Day, the earlier date of the equinox. Lady Day may also refer to other goddesses, such as Venus and Aphrodite, many of whom have festivals celebrated at this time. The natural world is coming alive, the sun is gaining in strength, and the days are becoming longer, and warmer. The gentle whispered promise of Imbolc, is fulfilled in the evident, and abundant fertility of the earth, at Ostara. It is time for the hopes of Imbolc, to become action. The energy is expansive, and exuberant. It is the first day of spring. In Celtic tradition, the hare is sacred to the goddess, and is the totem animal of lunar exes, such as Hecate, Freya, and Holda. The hare is a symbol for the moon. The date of the Christian Easter, is determined by the phase of the moon. The nocturnal hare, so closely associated with the moon, which dies every morning, and is resurrected every evening, also represents the rebirth of nature in spring. The egg, and all seeds, contains all potential, full of promise and new life. It symbolizes the rebirth of nature, the fertility of the earth, and all creation. In many traditions, the egg is a symbol for the whole universe. The cosmic egg contains a balance, of male and female, light and dark, in the egg yolk and egg white. So rejoice, Ostara is here, and rebirth is all around.